My name is Ryan Sensor. I was a long snapper with the Ohio Bobcats. Um, I also played in the NFL for a short time with the Saints and the Seahawks for a couple short stints with them. Uh, currently, I'm with, in the UFL with the Florida Tuskers as a long snapper. And uh, today, I'm going to help you guys out trying to coach up your long snappers. We're going to start with alignment and stance and then move into the grip and the snap and the post snaps. So the first thing I'd like to talk about today is the approach to the ball. Uh, the, one of the worst things that a long snapper can do is when he's practicing is getting a routine of just snapping, snapping, snapping and just staying in the same spot and uh, you know they're just they're that's never going to happen in a game. In a game situation you're going to run in from the sideline, you're going to come in for one play and then that's it, you're out. So every time that, you're, that your long snapper is practicing, I'd rather him do less reps but do them the right way than to just do multiple reps and just stand over the ball and uh, you know, it just kind of drains you as a snapper to do that anyways, and it's not going to be game-like at all. So every time I either want your snapper to come in from the side and kind of run in, get himself set up, and get down in this stance right here. Okay, either, either he's coming from the back from the huddle or he's coming in from the sideline. So every time that he's snapping, that's what should happen. He should come in from the side like that. All right, so the first part about getting yourself ready to snap is to get aligned with the ball and get yourself square to the punter, which is 15 yards away. So as you're coming in from the sideline, I want you to get set up here, and I want you to put the ball one yard in front of where you're at. Okay, this is where you should be practicing at for the most part when you're starting out as a young snapper. Get yourself lined up, put the ball about a yard in front of where the actual line is on the field, and get your feet completely squared on the line right here. The worst thing that you can do is get yourself staggered like this, you know, one or two inches here, when you multiply it back times 15 yards, it's going to be several feet to either side. So if they're not, if they're not lined up straight, then they're going to have to compensate in their snap, which is going to cause inconsistencies in the snap, and that's not what you want. As you get, as you get set up over the ball, like I said, you're going to get yourself nice and square here. You're going to get down, have your snapper get real comfortable in this position right here. He's going to reach down for the ball, and he's going to get, he's going to get the ball stretched out in front of him here. You want to think of your body almost as a rubber band, okay? You want that your, your body to sling that ball back there. So you shouldn't be comfortable with the ball in close here like this. These arms need to be extended almost all the way out, maybe a slight bend in the elbows, but almost extended all the way out, and your back should be flat. There shouldn't be a hump in your back like this. It should be flat here like this, so you can almost lay something across my, on the, on my back here.